What's going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, the shed here, we've codenamed the hen house, is finally done. And it's finally ready for ASICs. You might actually hear two in the background that I had with me the other night when we got power and I couldn't wait. I had to get them up and running. But let's go ahead and take a look at the shed, give you the grand tour, and then let's get some ASICs mining. Where are my crypto miners at? Listen up. Finding an exchange to liquidate, convert, and trade your cryptocurrency without KYC is becoming rare in the United States. As a crypto miner, we value our privacy and staying anonymous, while the team at BeWidify has you covered. BeWidify supports some of my favorite mineable coins like Caspa, Flux, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and many more. How many more? Let's just say there are 422 different options for cryptocurrency on BeWidify and growing every day. Ready for this? BeWidify understands the need as a miner to off-ramp your crypto for fiat to cover operating expenses. Well, BeWidify has you covered there too. Finally, if you're an avid trader, BeWidify has loads of features like a robust exchange, spot trading, derivatives, and loads more. Check out the link in the video description for BeWidify and get started by claiming your welcome rewards of 2,888 USDT today. All right, let's step inside. Oh, can't wait. The light's on. All right, guys. So here is our shed. Codename Hen House here. Uh, where should we start? I guess we'll start over here. How's that sound? We're gonna run through it, run through it all, and then we'll get some miners in here running. So we have a sub panel here. That's a 150 amp sub panel that we did go ahead, uh, trenched. If you guys haven't seen it, we have a full video on it. We trenched burial cable all the way back to the house. So we have 150 amps right now. His house has about 200 um, total. So uh, granted, single guy, lives at home, electrician, doesn't need a ton of power. So we have a variety of different uh, breakers in here. We have an outdoor outlet, lights and fans, mining one, 30 amp, 240 volt, mining two, 30 amp, 240 volt, mining three, 30 amp, 240 volt, four is up here. We also have a panel outlet, which is this guy right here. And then finally mining five down here, down below. So uh, worked out really, really well. Really happy with it. Came together really clean. So. This is our panel outlet. It feeds our Google um, router. And this actually, we have two ethernet cables that's burial ethernet cables um, that are buried with the trench running back to the house. One of them is here as an extra. This is live, ready to go, plugged in. And then this one here. Uh, so our entire network is managed by this guy. I love these. Great for home users. Nothing enterprise level, but really does the trick. Provides wireless to us in the shed. Uplink cable runs down to an old HP Pro Curve gigabit switch and that feeds our patch cables running into our patch panel here. Patch panel runs up, over, woo, and across into each of our bays. We're calling these bays in our rack. Um, Every one is, let's take a look here, like this one here. Each of these, not the best labeling setup, have to figure out something better, but D1 right in here, D2, D3, and then our power is labeled alphabet style with A. So this is A, we have like a B up here, stuff like that. So each of our power cables, you can see, look, here's our power, runs up, and we'll take a look over there in just a minute. So these are all pretty much ready to go. As I plug these in, uh, I do need to go ahead and label and identify them. That's one thing I didn't do was like label them on this side, label them on the other side. If I was to redo things, I would label these, I didn't, but lesson learned, um, you know, mistakes along the way, not perfect. But yeah, epoxy floor, that turned out great. We have a rack in place here, six and a half foot by six and a half foot by two feet. Could we have gone bigger? Absolutely. Could we have gone more racks in here? Absolutely. But it's 150 amps. We're gonna fill this rack up here. Three, six, nine, 12 A6. Some of them, most of them will be running in low power mode actually right now because of just the current bear market uh, with everything going on. If you're interested in what we're running here that we, I got these online last night, 
This one came from Crypto Miner Bros. This is the Avalon 1346. It's 110 terahash Bitcoin ASIC. One of my favorite ASICs right now. I can't wait to show you guys. That's a sneak peek at the dashboard for it. Really, really slick. I'm just really happy with it. Price point, um, the different hash modes on it and everything. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll put a link directly down below to that. And then down here, this guy pretty much break even running it right now. Yes, this is a KD Max. I've had it for about six, eight months, never ran it. Now that we're at four cents in this shed, I thought it was absolutely time to run. So our power goes up and goes across our support beams, comes down, and here we are to our PDUs. Now, I'm waiting to get this cleaned up because I'm waiting for one more cable to come in. Uh, I was one short, so I, I wanted to wait until I got all the cables in. So as you can see here, PDUs, heck yeah. Altair Tech, huge shout out to them for providing those. And they're metered, as you guys can see, which is pretty slick. Never had these before. Each of them also has their own breaker that you guys can see inside here, which is really nice. Uh, has two of our C19s with four of our C13s. So after I get all of these in here and I balance this, all my power over the five PDUs, then I'm going to take the excess and do a spool right up here. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Each of the PDUs matches up directly to the assigned meter box, which matches up with the breaker on the wall, which is awesome. Huge shout out to the meter box once again for supplying not only these meter boxes, but the Drox meter and the L630R plugs. Other than that, let's talk about fans we got in here and cooling. So we're only running two right now. We'll be running more here shortly. These are the AC Infinity T14 fans that all wire up to these AC Infinity uh, controllers, 69 Pro. They're wireless, so which is great. I can control them from my phone. I have another set right over here as well. Two more of these fans. At the end of the day, we'll end up running all of these. Uh, what else? The, uh, let's see, the door we did end up reinforcing quite a bit here. As you guys can see, silicone did. I, my, my goal, this, there was a lot of gaps with like air gaps and stuff in here. You could see light through it. So I wanted to go ahead and reinforce this door here. Fire extinguisher we got right inside the door. There's also one in the house if we need it. Uh, I did put one, look at the size of that massive fire extinguisher ball up there. There's another one over here and I do want to get one over here as well, um, just as a just in case. PC set up here to work on while I'm here. 27 inch Benku monitor. Used to use it for gaming back in the day. Built a little workbench here, work style here. A little um, pro desk, a little wireless dongle. Just go, it works perfect. Um, and uh, gets us exactly what we need here for accessing everything. Uh, other than that, we have our intakes here. Uh, these are the gable vents that you guys see. Uh, they're running the boar's hair filters. That is a MERV 3. We're gonna see how this goes. Uh, if things are getting too dirty, I might move to a MERV 6. We'll have to see how things make out. Got our Govies hanging out as well, just giving us some numbers here. It's warm in here. It was 95 today outside. It was hot. Um, and uh, yeah, but guys, our shed, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead, and what I've been doing is I've been testing each of these units, getting the hash rate, getting the watts at the wall, now, I've also been looking into and testing out low power modes, trying to find the most efficient setting. The Avalon miner here has six different hash modes. Four of them are considered low power mode. So I'm gonna bring in all my ASICs, get all my rigs all shelved here, and then I'm gonna test one at a time today uh, to figure out what's, what the exact numbers are so I can make sure that I balance everything over on my PDU. So let me get everything in here. Uh, we'll give you a quick little introduction to each of our ASICs, and uh, then we'll get to work.
right, let's give you guys a tour. It's not a massive farm, but it's my farm, all right? So uh, I'm excited. So uh, bear with me uh, if this isn't as exciting for you as it is for me. Uh, so what do we have here? Um, so a few slots are empty. I got some stuff on the way, but let me run through what we got. So here we have the KD Lite. Uh, this is the one I'm missing a C19 cable for, so that'll be on the way here. Uh, we're leaving a spot here. I do need to run the power for it uh, up and over uh, for an L7 uh, that I have on the way. Uh, this one is empty, nothing here. Hopefully something sooner than later. This guy, this guy, and this guy are the S19J Pro 100 tera hash units, as you guys can see. Lots of space here. I mean, I'm spacing these out as much as I can. This is actually the one that we, in the last video, took the shrouds off of. Uh, this was pretty beat. Uh, just, you know, we did get it uh, used from Wadham, and, uh, but she's still singing, which is awesome. Uh, down below here from, uh, from Bitmain, actually, I have on the way the S19J XP. That's 151 tera hash. It's a beast. Can't wait to get that. Here we have the S19J Pro Plus. That's the 117 terahash model here. Um, and then over here we have our new, and this is the Canon Avalon 1346. We talked about that earlier. Down below here we have our KD Max Cadena Miner. In the middle here we have our E9 Pro. Now this one here I'm checking is the 3.3. And then this one here, another E9 Pro, is a 3.6. You don't see the 3.3 as much, but definitely see that 3.6 a lot more. Guys, I'm super excited. This is coming together really well. I'm going to be here for several hours. I want to get everything up and running today. Retested like it's brand new. Get everything in here. I kind of built this spreadsheet here and I'm testing all the watts at the wall. I'm testing for efficiency, testing low power mode. I want to take the time to do this absolutely right. Well guys, the shed's coming to completion, which is really, really exciting. It has been a lot of work. I have been here multiple times a week for several hours at night, getting the job done, but we are finally here, which is great. It's gonna be interesting getting all these up and running. We're gonna to have to figure out our fans. You know, you can't just run your fans at full blast. You have to make sure you have the intake over here to support it. Um, so we'll see what you know speeds we run those at and test those at but Let's get these set up and good to go. If you guys want an update on the next video Click that bell and I'll see you guys next time. Take care